Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. For everybody new, my name's Omar. I'm a 20 year flight instructor, uh, former airline captain, 10 years at the airlines, 20,000 hours of flight time, uh, current flight school owner, and currently working on getting my AMP license for the past three years. Today I'm here to talk to you about fastest way to become an airline pilot. I'm gonna give you some secret tips on what saved me a lot of time and money and how I did it. All right, guys, so the first step in becoming an airline pilot is you have to go get a first class medical certificate. No, you can't go to your regular doctor and ask him to do an exam. It's not the same thing. You have to go to a specialized doctor that's designated by the FAA to perform the exams. It's called an AME, Aviation Medical Examiner. We put the link in the description below on how you can find those examiners on the FAA website. All right, guys, so now that you have your first class medical, what are your options on becoming an airline pilot? Well, there's two. One is the military route, one is the civilian route. Today, I'm gonna to talk about the civilian route. In the civilian world, you've got a couple options. You can go to an aviation university like Embry-Riddle, or you can go to your uh, local flight school down the street. Today, I'm gonna to talk about both of those options in detail, and I'm gonna share the pros and cons of each one. All right, guys, so you decided to go the university route. Let's talk about that a little bit. Uh, what's it going to be like? What are the pros and cons? What happens after you uh, graduate from this university? So some examples are uh, Embry-Riddle, University of North Dakota, great schools, good experiences. Uh, some of the pros about these universities is first off, um, you can apply for FAFSA funding. So FAFSA funding, the benefit of getting FAFSA funding versus, for example, getting a private loan is you're gonna get much lower interest rates on FAFSA funding because they're, they're backed by the US government. Uh, that's a big, big uh, pro to that. Uh, secondly, college experience. You're gonna be living on campus. Uh, so you get to have that college experience. If you're living on mom, and, uh, on mom and dad's couch, this is your chance to get off mom and dad's couch and go actually have a college experience. Um, you are gonna build some contacts. So more than likely, uh, if you're coming out of high school, you're going into college, you're thinking, who cares about contacts? Contacts will be important later on in life. So all the friends you have in these universities that are aviation themed, they're gonna go on to get jobs at companies in aviation. Uh, you're gonna eventually call those people and say, hey, you remember me from college? Can you help me get a job? You gotta build your network. You gotta build your contacts. Um, Another big thing is that airlines are going to be recruiting from these universities. So, for example, uh, when you finish a four year university and you walk away with your four year degree and you have your uh, ratings, you're probably going to have about 250 hours of flight time. That's not enough to get hired at a regional airline or a corporate outfit. You have to go be a flight instructor and build up your flight time to get to about 1500 hours. If you're at a university like Embry-Riddle or uh, University of North Dakota, those hour requirements drop to about a thousand hours. When you go flight instruct and you get to your thousand hours, like some of the flight instructors that have worked for me have, those airlines will hire you right at a thousand hours. So that's a big benefit. Now let's talk about the cons. So the biggest con is the price. Uh, consider, we're talking about a lot of money. Average price just for the degree at one of these universities is averages about 35,000 a year. That's tuition and boarding, uh, including books. Um, so you're looking at about 200 to $250,000 when you include the flight training, which is a separate cost than your four year degree, about a quarter million bucks to get out of uh, one of those universities. That's, that's, that's a lot of money. All right, guys, so let's compare another option that you have on the table, your local flight school. Um, I would say the biggest pro to going to your local flight school is the savings advantage you have. Um, you can probably get done at your local flight school for an airline pilot program for around $75,000 plus or minus a few bucks. Um, you can also go to a local college, local university, and probably get uh, your four-year degree done for about $25,000, $30,000. So if you want to compare the two, um, out the door, probably about a hundred grand. If you're going to your local flight school and college, uh, going to a big aviation university, probably going to spend about a quarter million bucks. That's quite a bit of cost difference. That's something you and uh, your family probably need to sit down and have a good conversation about. 
the cons to going to uh, maybe a local flight school and a state college, well, first off, some of the local flight schools, they can be a little bit less structured. Um, you might miss out on that college experience. The third thing is uh, your hour requirements to be hired are gonna be at 1500 hours uh, fixed. So in other words, if you go to your local flight school, you have to have 1,500 hours of flight time before you can get hired at the airline. If you go to a four-year aviation university, that hour requirement drops down to 1,000 hours. Now, why am I talking about the degree so much? If you already have your degree, you can just ignore this, not important. But if you don't have your degree, so when I've gone to a uh, uh, aviation job fair, for example, when I was an airline captain at the regional airlines for 10 years, the first thing the recruiter at Delta Airlines or United Airlines would ask me is, do you have a four-year degree? Now, if you go on their website, you'll quickly see that it's not required, but it's preferred. So the reason they put that there is because they typically have about 20,000 plus applications on file from highly qualified candidates, from regional jet captains to military pilots. If they have 20,000 applications on file, who do you think they're gonna go for? They're gonna pick the person who's most competitive, that has the degree, that's got the flight time. So I've been there, I've been in front of the recruiters and they've asked me that tough question. You really need to get that for your degree if you're planning to go fly the big metal at United or Delta Airlines. All right guys, so I promised you at the beginning of the video that I'd share some tips on how to save uh, time and money on how to become an airline pilot. So how I would do it over again, if I had to start over knowing what I know today with my 20 plus years of experience, I would have to say that I would definitely go and get my uh, degree online to save myself time and money. Um, when I first started this, Online degrees were out there, but they didn't really hold a lot of weight and credibility with these recruiters from Delta and United. That has changed completely. Um, I would go get an online degree while I would work on my flight training, get that done. And the flexibility of doing my degree online would open up some free time to where I could go actually get a job and work part-time or almost even full-time. And that would save me a lot of time and money doing it that route. All right, guys, so important to point out, if you already have a degree in any subject, you're good to go. You don't need to go to a four-year university. You can just go sign up at your local flight school. Make sure they have a accelerated airline pilot program. That way you can get done with your training in about seven, eight months, sign up to be a CFI real quick. And in about two years, you can probably start applying to the airlines. Uh, if you found this uh, video useful, click the like button, hit the subscribe button, comment below. I'll be replying to your uh, questions and comments and make sure you tune into my channel. I'll be putting out a lot of useful tips uh, in the future. Thank you very much.